Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Penn and welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you my um, organization, my tools um, when it comes to having my files named properly um, across my demos, uh, movies and TV show content. So uh, I'm going to present one option for this video, but there are some free alternatives, but that will be covered in the near future. Now this is track. Um, I'm using this Blue Beetle just for an example. I have a file that's not actually Blue Beetle that I'm using as a test file, um, just so you can see what the tool is going to do. Now I'm going to be using a tool named FileBot. Surprisingly, this was one of the original tools I was using um, back when I first started using Plex. Um, Plex is a media server and it is a client application that you can use on various devices to watch content from Plex natively or within your network or within a cloud. And this was one of the tools that I was using. Um, it simply renames your file. Uh, that's about as basic as I, as I can explain it here. Um, now where I went was the Microsoft Store. I actually paid for mine. They have the information here, um, lifetime universal license, one year license, things like that. Um, but I actually went di directly through the store. So the price at the time for me was around $63 um, to be exact. And this was maybe like three weeks ago, something like that. Um, so I didn't go through the website. I went through the store, but you can check that out here. Um, I'm going to open up the Microsoft store here just so you can see that it's actually in here. Let that load up. All right. FileBot right here. So I have it installed natively through the Microsoft store. So what I'm going to do is go right into the examples that I have. So Media and Media 2 is on my network um, through my network attached storage. I just have the drives visible through my Windows File Explorer just so they're easier to edit, navigate, and swap things out on the fly. Media is going to be my demos and movie content and Media 2 is going to be my TV show content. Just for an example. So I'm going to go to demos first and when I'm showing things off, showing off a TV or doing an audio demo, I like to have my stuff organized, um, simplified though. So we have three folders here, Dolby True HD, Dolby Vision HDR and DTS. So I'm gonna go to the middle folder here and it's basically demos, Dolby Vision, that on and off demo, um, it's nice. Some of these files you will find on the official um, Dolby disc and Nakimichi actually um, sent a Dolby demo disc when you purchase their equipment. So um, I have that disc somewhere. Maybe I'll show it off sometime, but I have the files digitally, but you see how everything is named. It's clean naming. So these were edited manually only because I did not have a ton of demos and I wanted them to be named a certain way. See some of these is in M2TS, MKV, things like that. All right, so let's get into something that you're actually gonna wanna see in terms of a practical usage. So you see how my folders are named. So it gives you the movie title, the year, and it gives you the movie database and the number or the tag that it's associated with. Then when I click into them, 1917, 2019, this is a 73.4 gig file. All right. 
Now, for the example, here's a Boo Beetle 2023, and I have some random letters just to throw a file about off, just so you can see the process of how it automatically brings up suggested content based off of the title that you have in the file originally. So like I said, this is not the actual movie file. I do not have this movie on my server um, for real, for real. This is another video that I did on my channel and I just changed the title so that I can do a demo for you. Now I'm gonna get into the demo. Filebot, open it up. So this is how the program looks like. Listen. This isn't going to be like an overview of the program. I'm just going to get straight to the content. This is all that I do. Watch. This is how I got my stuff looking the way it does. Go to first load. You see this folder here. Go to select files. You can do folder, but I'm doing a specific file for this matter. There's the, um, you know, fake movie, Blue Beetle. But I'm going to show you how it works. All right. So... There's the original file. Now I'm gonna to go to fetch data. And then I like the movie DB. Um, and it's gonna it's gonna fetch. Now it's going to give me it failed to identify because of the file name and it screwed up, but that was intentional. Select the best match. So I want the Blue Beetle 2023. Select that, hit select, boom. New name, Blue Beetle 2023, clean. Now, Filebot got this um, script. I don't remember it being in the uh, version that I was using like a few years ago for that matter. I'm gonna click on its presets. They have something called Organize Movies for Plex. Now, I don't have Plex installed um, currently locally or cloud. Um, but I use this preset because it just works. I'm going to click it. It's going to give me that window again. I'm going to confirm it and look at the name. Clean. And all I have to do is hit rename. Beautiful. So now I'm going to open up my movies. And let's find that movie. Here somewhere. Sounds like I can get a little lost. Do this. Go back in. Boom, there we go. Under Blade Runner, Blue Beetle 2023 gives me the movie database and a tag. And this is how it would be named. So if I actually had this movie, um, this is how it will look on the folder level and on the file level in terms of the naming convention within Windows. And this is compatible. It's gonna be with um, Zadoo, you know that I have that Doom Media Player coming today by the time you guys watch this video. I'm sure it's going to work well with Sapiti, Plex, MB, Jellyfin, Cody, whatever you want to use. I just think this is a clean way of organizing your media locally, of course. And I don't have to press a lot of buttons in this case. Okay. So that's the demo. Um, just wanted to show off how I have the file's name. So let me go ahead and get this deleted because I don't actually have that film. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. That was just a random video that I did. And I'll show the TV shows as well. So this is my movie stuff. Up, oh, understandable. That problem all right so for tv shows it's the same i'm currently watching bmf you see have it the same 
season one. Clean naming. Then season two. Just like automation and simplicity. Okay, so the demo's done. Exit all that. So that's FileBot in a nutshell. That's exactly what I click and what I go to. I don't use any other options in the user interface. Perhaps if anyone wants a, I guess an overview or a more dedicated video of FileBot, I could do that by video request, but that's literally all I do. Now I will have links in the description. So what do I have up here? It's some extra stuff. It was radar, sonar, um, before YouTube changed their terms of service, I used to be using these programs um, and showing them I'm on a consistent basis in terms of automating within your home network. Nowadays, this is just mainly used in the cloud. Um, I set these up for clients that want something hands off. However, the reason why I'm showing these options is because these are not just um, PVR sort of tools. Uh, these are great for managing your collection, seeing how much you have, keeping track of it. And also they have free automated renaming tools built in. This is free. Okay, so radars for movies. And then Sonar would be for TV shows and there's Ladar for music as well. Um, Whatever, you know, floats your boat in that matter. So I'm just giving you a heads up in terms of this is still being used in a different way um, locally, but on the cloud is being used in a totally different matter. Uh, that's where I changed the game and introduced people to, hey, don't want to do anything. This is one of the ways where you step your game up. All right. So after this video, there should be some Doom content. And I may have to do another Q&A video, depending on what's going on, what I find from my test results. Uh, but that's about it. Now, I didn't want to keep you guys here for long on this uh, Friday afternoon, um, wherever you at. This is Penn signing out. Thank you for watching and peace out.